Right, we're here with Coach Sam Griner, Harding Rams. Coach, uh, how'd your off season go this year? Uh, went great. A lot of uh, expectations filled. Um, still got a lot of work to do. But um, one of the greatest things is, uh, you know, like the weight room. Um, yeah. We were blessed with an extreme, <laughs> extremely great weight room. We always had a great space, but now we have uh, a lot of equipment. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I mean, that was a big, big move in the mountain situation for us, definitely. And uh, tell us how that came about, because a lot of people seen it on social media, and uh, I got a ton of questions, and okay. a, a um, lot of people want to know. In the late fall, uh, towards Christmas, um, you know, we had Cam Newton. Um, oh, yeah. We had uh, Ice Cube and Kevin Hart. They all came by. I had no clue they were coming. <laughs> um, I, think, I think there was one person in the whole school that knew they were coming, and she wasn't allowed to say anything. It was our um, Miss Goldstein, oh, yeah. former AD. She mm -hmm. wasn't allowed to say nothing to anyone. We just had to have a workout, and they showed up. Wow. They brought us a check for 7500 but it made awareness of our weight room situation. Yeah. 7500 yeah. doesn't purchase a new weight room. Right. Um, Sue and a lot of others really, mm -hmm. really strive to try to help us get grants and they basically pushed through and they raised about $90,000 for us to uh, wow. get a new weight room. And it, I mean, it is a glorious weight room, that's that, for sure. That is awesome. And uh, we'll, we'll get some shots of it here a little later. All right. Um, so coming into this season, what, what's your goal, your team goal here? Um, definitely our goal last year was to do build a foundation. You can't go anywhere right. if you don't have a firm foundation. And then... My expectations, you know, everybody wants to win right away. I wanted to win right away. Mm -hmm. um, I kept saying we're not going to be a 1-9 and nine team, and we end up being a 1-10 and 10 team. Right. And, uh, but that, <laughs> if you are a part of the program, it means something to put a Harding shirt on now. It means something to foundation. They can see the future. If you're within with us, right. I think that they can see great things on the horizon. Our expectations this year is we always want to be able to compete in our conference. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's, you know, Catholics been running the conference for a long, long time. Oh, yeah. And we want to be able to compete with those guys. You know, obviously we got a great opener with Huff, and we mm -hmm. want to win that game. Uh, we don't want to play a great game. We want to win the game. I mean, we right. we don't have expectations just to, like, going out there and give a good fight. Mm -hmm. We're preparing to win every game we play this year, and uh, our expectations won't be any less than that. Exactly. So talk about some of your uh, key players that are um, going to be on the team this year. I'll tell you what, it, it's going to be a long list. I, I, we have a lot of key players, I think. Um, I think our young freshman started it off last year with a big boom. He's oh, our yeah. only guy that's got official scholarships at the moment. Uh -huh. South Carolina offered him, UNCC offered him before that during the season. He's a big man. I mean, he's a 215-pound warrior. Wow. And, you know, he power cleaned 300 pounds as a freshman. He, he's, he's a pretty big machine. We have big Mike Hudson at the right oh, yeah. tackle. Um we have a couple of guys that have came in and I've just met this week that are look fantastic. They're a lineman too. Mm -hmm. I, I can't remember his name quite right now, but I, I think his name's uh, what's his name, Coach? You know, uh, I, yeah, I'm not sure exactly, but he's pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, we have a kid named Marcellus Harris plays safety. We have um, Kavars's younger brother who's coming off an injury. He got hurt. He hurt his ankle. Okay. He's a big time safety. Jaquan Rankins is one of our other big time seniors. Very explosive. Um, we we got a lot of players, and I'm name, I'm not naming some of them. I can tell you. Trayvon Corbett, Jason Charles, all conference corners. I think we got one of the best DB crews in, in the state. I really do. Um, definitely you know, sounds like it. I mean, we're definitely got high expectations, but it's all about coming together, working hard, because it's new territory for us. We, we right. gotta, you know, we got to break ground and let people know that we're here, and it's not going to be easy. Nobody's just going to be like, oh, okay, we're here, have a game. No. You got to go out there and take <laughs> it and do the little things right. Exactly. So, kind of just summing up, Coach, um, playoffs. I know you talked about the uh, – the beard thing and, and shaving hair, and all yeah, that. All oh, the hair. hair. That's what it is. Yeah. The, beard, the beard, my little camp beard right here. <laughs> camp beard. The wife hates it. Um, so, yeah, I, man, that's basically it right there. I can't cut my hair until uh, we go to the playoffs. I told them right. I know it's going to be a, a struggle to, to change the culture, but mm -hmm. if I couldn't jump full-fledged in and give them everything I have and all the other coaches give them everything they have, our expectations is to go to the playoffs, win playoff games, compete in the conference, and um, I won't cut my hair until we go to the playoffs. 
put it that way. And I get That's I get great. crap from a lot of coaches. And uh, you you know what are you looking? You don't look like no head football coach. You don't. And I, <laughs> I got to make a commitment. These kids would call me a liar if wow. I didn't commit to what I say. And uh, exactly. And I think that they want to cut my hair. They want to shave my head off. So. They're going to compete hard this year. Well, that's great. And, Coach, I think you do have a, a realistic shot of achieving that goal this year. Um, I appreciate it. You got things going in the right direction. You know, as a former Ram, I definitely appreciate everything you've done and given to the program. And uh, we, we'll be watching. We'll be keeping an eye on you most, most definitely. I appreciate it. Thanks for everything. All right.